Well, I just got back from the uh, county extension office and I rented from them, I rented this no-till drill. So this is a seed drill and we're planning on using this to plant our hay field in the back of our property. So we've got a, a three acre field that used to be a corn field and now this year we're going to plant it into hay and uh, we're planning on using this no-till drill to plant our seed. So I am having to rent this from the um, from the extent, county extension office, but I'm paying uh, per acre that I seed. So I'm basically got a three acre field back there, and then I'm going to do a little planting up here on the pasture and around the house. So I'm basically just going to have to rent it for four acres of use, and that's going to end up. I'm not 100% sure what the price is till they bill me. It's going to end up being around uh, um, 60 to 100 dollars somewhere in there to rent this drill. So. The reason we're using a drill is I should be able to plant that hay field in the back and uh, use less seed. So this will be able to plant the seed, you know, like into the into the ground and, and actually kind of cover it back up. So you'll have good uh, seed to soil contact and everything and, it, and you'll have a better germination rate. Now, if I was to go back there and use a, a seed spreader and like spread the seed and then maybe use a cultipacker or something to help kind of pack that seed back down into the ground, it would have, I would have had to use a, a higher amount of seed, um, you know, per acre to, to do it that way. So in the end, I think that this is going to end up probably saving me a little bit of money, uh, even though I have to rent this. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to start getting some things ready. I'm going to go ahead and blow this thing out and get it all ready because tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to wait till tomorrow, but tomorrow morning we sh we're probably going to go ahead and start planting. Uh, the hay field in the back and start using this in, in places around the property to, to plant seed. So the hay field I'm planting today, I'm going to be planting in an alfalfa grass mixture. And there's a lot of uh, pre-mixed alfalfa mixes out there. And they got a lot of, you know, like they'll have clovers and they'll have uh, fescue and they'll have just all these different types of grass seed mixed in. They're typically, a, they'll have about five or six different um, types of grass and alfalfa mixed together. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make my own mixture so that I can have exactly what I want. And this may be a mistake, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my own alfalfa grass seed mixture. So this bag here in the middle, this is a alfalfa seed, and this is a 50 pound bag here in the middle. It's actually the smallest of all the bags here. Um, and this one here, this really big bag, this is orchard grass. So you can tell it's 50 pound bag also, but it's, it's obviously a fluffier, lighter seed. And then on that side over there is, is Timothy grass. So we're going to be planting an alfalfa, orchard grass, and Timothy grass mixture. And um, we're basically going to do about 50% uh, alfalfa, 50 or 25% Timothy, 25% orchard grass. And that'll be by weight, not by volume. So basically we'll use a whole bag of alfalfa. We'll use half the bag of Timothy and we will use half a bag of orchard grass. And hopefully that will be enough to do that three acre field in the back. If for some reason I end up coming up short, then, a, then a, maybe a section of the field will just end up being orchard grass and timothy grass. Uh, and I can just plant that uh, if we end up running out. But hopefully um, that'll be the right ratio to be able to plant that, uh, that three acre field back there. So to make my own grass seed mixture, I'm gonna have to somehow mix this up uh, so that it's kind of evenly mixed. So I'll show you what, I've got an idea and this may this may work and it may not, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you what I plan on doing to mix this, uh, all this seed together to make my own mixture. <clears throat> so the plan is to pour this trash can here, this is a galvanized trash can, I'm gonna pour that about halfway full 
of the alfalfa and the grass seed and then I'm going to mix it up in here. Um, I can't, I did have a mixing, a mixer paddle, I can't find it, that had a paddle on it about this big and I thought that would work real good for really agitating this and mixing it up. I can't find it so I got to keep moving forward so I do have like a paint mixer and I'll just be using a paint mixer to you know kind of try to stir this up and mix it up see if I can get that grass seed mixture made up and uh, get it in the, the seed drill so I can get planting today. Well, it's almost just as easy just to reach inside and mix it up by hand. The mixer won't get the bottom done, so you might have to do it by hand to get the bottom. But really, just a couple minutes and you got a good, it looks to be a good even mixture. We'll go ahead and pour this in the seed drill. So I've got this rear seed hopper. I got that filled uh, about three quarters of the way full of seeds. So I think that's a good start. I've got another uh, trash can mixed up so I can refill this, but we're gonna go ahead and head out to the field and see, uh, see if we can get planting seed and see how difficult this thing is to set up. Okay, so we, uh, over there there's an adjustment to adjust how many basically uh, pounds of seed you're gonna drop per acre. So we adjusted that and we'll just have to, you know, run this through the field to see if it looks like it's, you know, planting the right rate. Um, other than that, these wheels down here, you gotta lock into, so that they spin the drive. So this is a ground driven machine, so you gotta lock these wheels in so that it'll that it'll turn all the gears. Alright, so I think uh, I think we're ready to go. The only other thing we gotta do is there is a uh, these pins, there's these big pins, these are your travel pins. There's one of those on each side that you gotta pull out, and then that'll uh, once you got those pins out, that'll allow you to raise and lower this with the hydraulics. So, I think we're ready to go. See if we can get this thing planted.
Well, I feel like this hopper should be pretty much empty by now, and I've probably gone through about half. So I'm gonna have to readjust uh, right over here and try to put more seed down so I can get the right amount. Well, I finally finished planting this hay field. Um, boy, this took me way longer than I thought it would. I got about five hours trying to plant this hay field. So when I got this seed drill from the extension office, they said everybody has trouble getting it to drop the amount of seed that it uh, can drop. And when I picked it up, it was set at 85% uh, seed drop capacity. And so I, I lowered it a little bit just because I didn't want to run out too early. I went around, it wasn't enough, so then I doubled that setting, went back over where that was, still wasn't enough, so then I ended up maxing it out. I got the, the, the field planted, and that was just one hopper full, so I put another hopper full, went back around, planted it a second time. That still wasn't enough seed that I wanted on there, so I put another hopper full in there, and I went over this three times ended up being about 75 pounds worth of seed on this three acre field. So I was hoping to get about 100 pounds of seed on here. So I was hoping somewhere around 33 pounds per acre, but ended up with about 25 pounds per acre and I'm not gonna go over it a fourth time. This is just taking way too much time. So anyway, hopefully that's enough seed. Hopefully this will go and grow fine. But this is supposed to be like a no-till setup, right? So it's, it's, it's got a, a disc on the front and it's kind of cutting through the ground it's cutting up these corn stalks and it's got another little V disc that makes a little spot for the, the seed to drop in and then it has a roller that just kind of rolls back over the seed and kind of helps cover it up but by the time I go over this three times it pretty much is a tilled field by the time I'm done because um, for a no-till drill by the time you use it three times I've about got this this field all tilled up but um Anyway, hopefully this will grow okay. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But while I have this drill, I want to go ahead and try to seed a few other places. So I'm standing here on the west side of my house. And this side of my house, ever since I, I finished my house last year, I never got grass to grow on this side. So this whole side ended up eroding and had really big ruts in it. So I took the disc out here the other day and I ran the disc over this just to get it all evened back out. And then I ran a roller over it to help kind of pack it back down. So I'm gonna to try to run that seed drill along the west side of my house here. I'm gonna to try to go uh, along the back of the house by the walkout and a little bit um, next to the pond on the other side on the slope and see if I can get this kind of the, the bare spots around my house see if I can get them uh, planted with grass. So I ended up buying some fescue grass, just some regular fescue grass to be able to plant this with. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the seed drill and then we'll run this seed drill around the house a few times and see if we can get some grass to grow here by the house as well. Well, I was able to get every place that I wanted to plant grass seed, I was able to get that done. So I've got this whole side back here on the side of our house. I've got that planted. I've got it planted in between the house and the propane tank back here. And then I was also kind of able to kind of back it up and maneuver it. And I was able to kind of get a little bit 
in this area or like right here in front of the walkout not very much but just a little bit man the gnats are just horrible tonight i usually use buggins spray i've been using that all day today to keep them off of me but um actually i've went and i've taken a shower and everything we went and got cleaned up went and ate something um and it seems like right after you get all clean man the gnats get all that bug spray off you now the gnats are terrible but uh so i was able to get you know at least some of this seated back here in front of the house and then there was this hill on this side of the house just like just a small section here right before the pond so i was able to get this area right here so this is between the pond and where our garden area is being built right up here and this area this slope right here going down the pond it didn't get grass grown on it as well and it has rutted up uh eroded you know had some erosion in it so we had dissed that also and we were able to put uh, plant grass seed in that area so hopefully all these areas here around our house are going to grow hopefully the hay field in the back <clears throat> will grow hoping to at least maybe it'd be nice to get one cutting off of it this year we'll just have to wait and see being a new hay field i'm not 100 percent sure what my expectations i guess should be necessarily um so i guess i'm just kind of hoping that it since it's just getting established it's going to take a long time to grow and get up uh to that stage where it's about ready to seed you know go to seed and bloom or whatever and then we'll want to want to cut it and hopefully we can maybe get one cutting in this year and uh but today tonight it may rain sometime in the night or about five in the morning or something we got we got a storm coming in so this is about perfect get all this all this area over here planted get all the seed in there and then get a little bit of rain you know tomorrow hopefully that'll um you know start this all growing i just don't want it to be so much rain that it washes everything away um i put everything up tonight i was just done seven hours on a tractor today that was that was pretty grueling you know so then i went took a shower we went and got something to eat because i i didn't even eat lunch today i just pretty much stayed on the tractor for seven hours trying to get this all done i don't know if all these gnats look at that those gnats are terrible and uh that is crazy um but anyway it's pretty i was pretty hot and miserable after being on tractor for seven hours the sunlight was brutal i'm definitely gonna have a sunburn on my arms maybe my ears but uh pretty happy we got this all planted uh, but when i was done i was that's it for the day if i would have had enough time and things would have went better i would have rolled this with the roller again and compacted all that down after planting it um but after seven hours i was done so let's wait and see what's going on in the morning if it's raining i mean this is we'll just let it be if i get up in the morning and it's not raining yet man then that's bad uh then i may go ahead and roll this and try to get it rolled before the rain but anyway that's it guys was able to get everything planted it did not go well with the planter I double planted this around the house just because I knew back in the back it wasn't putting the seed down very well so I just went over everything twice here around the house um, hopefully it'll grow we'll just have to wait and see so maybe here in a few weeks we'll uh, come back and give an update and see if any of this is growing but anyway I am gonna get away from all these gnats and go inside <laughs> they're just crazy all right thanks guys for watching see you in the next video